So I'm Traveler, how can I help you? You are Krustum? I am Krustum, son of Zora and descendant of Toast. <clears throat> Pardons! I studied the ways of healing in storied Trakesia, learned learning much that has elsewhere been forgotten. Now I work in Sadaka, cleaning, to e seeking to expand my knowledge further and helping all that I can. How did I get cleaning? You're a doctor. Many of us children of the toast are doctors. Our natural ability to produce penicillin is very useful, of course, and motivates many to take up this calling, but I believe there is more to it. We, who might have been nothing but steel bread, appreciate life more than most do, and thus we seek to preserve it. Tell me about your studies, Dr. Craston. Oh, I've studied all the grades. Morovius on cataracts, Caraflas of Vlachia on boldness, Aimatiros, uh, Svachtis on anatomy, you name it, I've read it. I love learning, there is so much to learn, though one should never underestimate the value of practical experience. Toast. A long time ago, there was a piece of toast that, left, that was left in its package for too long. Like all toast, it quickly became moldy, but it was not thrown away. Instead, through forgetfulness or fate, it was allowed to grow, to evolve, until the toast became sentient. That's horrifying, honestly. Also really neat, but horrifying. Since then, it has traveled the world, leaving behind its offspring wherever it went. I am a ninth generation toast. Both my parents were eighth generation toasts, though it is said that my great grandfather was a multi baguette. I love it here. Well, I know there are many problems, but I am simply a born optimist. As long as there's life, there's hope. And life, as my own example shows, can grow anywhere. I need an arterial cleaning device, Dr. Krustum. An arterial cleaning device for an enormous artificial organism? Oh, wow. I will have to think about it. Yes, well, and there's Guardian Spirit. Well, I think it can be done, but it would require something rather extraordinary, namely the tooth of a dragon. Nothing else is sharp enough, yet chemically harmless. To attach the tooth to something fishy, your, to something your fishy friend can hold in his mouth, I will also need a special glue, the recipe for which I can give you straight away. If you bring me these ingredients, I will make the tool for free. Cool, well, I've got a dragon. Whom I'm going to visit. Isle of Moon, Olinion. Let's go visit Milish. I need your tooth. Milish is not a thousand yet, so he still has his rock teeth. They fall out, and new ones grow. Milish can give you one. Here, yay. Got a tooth, it's very pointy. And let's check uh, that recipe list. Poke it. Dog, fo dog food. Take something green as your basis. First, add fantastic feta, feta, then a mellow mushroom. The result will be a potion of gnurg, to which you must add sour and sausage. Hmm. Glue. The basis is something green. First ingredient shall be repulsive squish leaf, which I have. Then trout jelly, potion of erg, which must be refined with essence of derrick. So something green, repulsive squish leaf, trout jelly. Uh, something green. R R R R. I thought I had it. Do I really not? How annoying. Patrick's always liquid cheese, hot peppers, fertilizer, feta, dragon tooth. Ugh. Okay. Let's um let's try in the Port Dera market first. Talk to you. I need a salmon of wisdom. I have so many types of fish, but none of that. Man, when Mayor Penguok took over, he brokered a deal with the fishery. And they send their boats here and caught so much salmon, we never saw any again. That is annoying. You're in debt. Never borrowed anything. Good. Jellification. 
Oh, the possibilities. I do hope you manage to find or make that potion. I need a potion of jellification. Yeah, uh, make a potion of jellification. How do I do that? Snip it. <laughs> it's still papers. Prune juice. Add impossible flurk or and repulsive squish leaf. And then refine with onion based water extract. Weird. Well, uh, dwarf. What can you give me? I'm not reading all of this because I remember having done that in a previous episode and don't want to do it again. I'm just seeing if they're giving me things. Vegetarian. Uh, so, Nana, have one. It's not doing it. Carrot and leeks. Perhaps you know a bat that might be able to help. Huh, hot peppers. No, she only has hot peppers. Uh, regular peppers, rather. Hmm. Well, I've got hot peppers, I think. Hot peppers, yes. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. And... Patrick. Well, time to actually talk to the people in Sadaka, it seems like. Sadaka. You! I don't want to talk to anyone. You are a seam. Please, I have no desire to speak. Okay. That's fine. Giant lizards! Is it warmer than usual? You are Bashat. I'm currently in the process of changing from male to female. It's something my species has always been able to do, though I've never done it my before myself because it used to be more or less illegal. It's odd to feel your whole body changing. My arms are so much smaller than they used to be, and I keep feeling either too hot or too cold. But I'm really looking forward to being female for a few years. Who knows, maybe I'll stay that way too. That's interesting. And stretch now. Cutting out that audio. Desert! They say there's an oasis in the desert, but no one has been there in a long time. We prefer to stay in the city. Mayor is a hawk. We kicked out Mayor is a hawk. He was a real tyrant, always doing exactly what Lord Uderson told him, stealing everything we had so he could live like a king. But we got angry and chased him away. It was our great moment in our history. That's cool. Saraka. Despite all the fighting and the poverty, I love it here. The air, the sun, the fountains. If only we could be a little more free. Another one. Move along. You are Mukhtar. I know a troublemaker when I see one, and that's definitely me, yes. We're the vanguard of the revolution. We keep it from turning into just another uprising by the unthinking masses. We're here to create order, to safeguard the future of our island and our alliances. You better not get in our way. The city is ours, and we're going to return it to its former glory. That seems a little bit intense. More guards? Nadim! I'm a guard, I guess. Uh, why don't you move along? We're supposed to protect the people in the city. They seem much less sure. You are Ajlal. I've been told I need to change to being a man because that would be preferable in a guard. I thought the revolution was about getting rid of that sort of thing. If it's legal for civilians, why shouldn't it be legal for me? What's the general trying to accomplish? It's not like strangers can tell our gender apart. Very true. I'm a stranger. I wish we could just keep strangers out of our city. No offense, I don't have a problem with you, but we've got enough problems on our own. We keep the peace. That's important. You can't imagine how chaotic it all got when we kicked out the mayor. Can't have people looting and smashing things. People don't know what's good for them. What's this? A villa with flowers. Once the subject of complex experiments by an apothecary from Tarna, they have looked slightly kooky ever since. <laughs> he 
in we go to talk to John Skull. At ease, stranger. General G. Umguma. General Umguma? General Umguma! I think of myself as a patriot, in the nationalist sense, as someone who has the best interests of Sadaka in mind. Hard choices have to be made, and it will take courage to bring Sadaka into the future. I'm confident that our actions in support of the revolution will lead through the current dry spell to a brighter future. We will work hard to overcome our troubles, I am confident. For all legal purposes, these statements are to be taken as being of an inspirational nature. Economic results may vary. That sounds a little familiar. Lord Urizen. We are in no way affiliated with Lord Urizen, though we refuse to ignore any potential allies. We love this island too much for that. That is the right posture. Good job. Never automatically align yourself against someone because then you're still allowing them to tell you what to do. Smell of the day is red tape. That's familiar too. Isle of the Stars. Our island is very beautiful and has many ancient traditions, but unfortunately its people have allowed themselves to degenerate. They, uh, erm, um, they, what? They, erm, um, I mean, they have become very lazy and very unruly. That's why a tyrant like Mayor Zahak could take over, and why the military is needed to the point the people in a new direction. This is not as free as it looks, apparently. The military is the revolution. Despite claims that we attack civilians under Mayor Zahak, the military was always opposed to his despotic rule, which is why we have decided to seize power to ensure a proper transition to democracy. We want true democracy after all and not simple mob rule. I'm not sure what you consider the difference to be. General Umguma has unlocked a Skull of Duty achievement, defeating terrorist non-combatants. Lovely. Simulate democracy. Advanced intimidation. Champion of the markets. Extra judicial justice. Collateral damage, self-funding by initiative, population control, silence of the critics, armed by Urizen, that's not good, simulate democracy, successful pacification via applied force, defeating terrorist non-combatants, enhanced in interrogation techniques, Disproportionate force. Lovely. The three swords of leadership. Oh, the three swords of leadership, freedom, and obedience. That, that. The dagger of national justice and of military democracy. Keep your hands off that. That's private property. Camouflage box containing the general's dagger proof hat. Weird. Please refrain from interacting with any of these objects. Despite their cleverly disguised appearance, they are not luxury items, but items essential to national security. Yep, this is a terrible place, apparently.